領域展開だって君弱いもん<笑> Satoru Gojo is a sorcerer who has both six eyes and limitless power. This hasn't happened in his family for over 400 years. Gojo is not just the most powerful sorcerer of the present time, but in history of the Jiu Jitsu world. In Chapter 235, he earned the title of the strongest by defeating Sukuna with his divine powers. Proving too much for even the King of Curses. This solidified Kenjaka's plan to seal Gojo away, as his presence would prevent the planned culling game from ever starting in the next 1000 years. There's a reason this guy got nervous the moment he saw him after he was unsealed. Kenjaka has been causing trouble for every Six Eyes user for centuries. Actually, did you know the manga has mentioned four other Six Eyes users, and Kenjaku is connected to all of them? To start understanding Gojo's family, it's helpful to know that having the six eyes automatically makes them powerful. This places the family among the top tier Jujutsu clans, which have ancient roots tracing back to the beginning of sorcery. Gojo's family originates from the Sugawara, a real life aristocratic family established in 781. They were known for serving as scholars and government officials in the imperial court. However, this clan later split into six branches, and one of them belongs to Satoru Gojo's family. The first sorcerer in their bloodline to be connected to both the Six Eyes and Limitless was Michizane, a thousand years ago. Similar to Gojo, he was exceptionally talented from a young age, becoming a scholar and earning a place in the court. Eventually, he became known as one of Japan's three vengeful spirits during the Heian era, highlighting his prominence in sorcery. This sheds light on how Gojo discovered in the prequel A Jujutsu Kaisen Zero that his student Yuta Okatsu was his distant relative and cousin. In Chapter 12, Gojo mentioned that 80% of a sorcerer's talent comes from genetics, which explains why both he and Yuta excel in Jujutsu and possess high curse energy. It's been confirmed that Gojo grew up quite spoiled by his family, treated like royalty, and given everything he wanted. As a result, he's known for being funny and goofy. We often see Satoru doing whatever he pleases, showing that his family has complete trust in him as their leader, especially since having the six eyes automatically makes you the clan head. Additionally, they taught him secret jujitsu techniques, like the falling blossom emotion, which came in handy during the battle against Sukuna. This technique is only known among the big three families. Considering the Sugawara clan and Michizane existed in the Nara and Heian eras, It's evident that the Gojo clan has been around since the inception of Jiu Jitsu through Buddhism, even during the golden age of sorcery when vicious sorcerers were at their peak. When Ryoman Sukuna roamed the world in his true form, he was seen as a disaster, causing havoc in villages and among people. He was even worshipped as a deity, and no leaders or imperial forces could stop him, they had to comply with his demands. To counterbalance this evil, Gojo's family possesses a powerful inherited curse technique, the divine power and fate known as the Six Eyes, which is exceptionally rare even within the Gojo clan due to the strict requirements for its manifestation. Let me break it down in Chapter 145, it's explained that for the past thousand years, users with Six Eyes have had a crucial role. Their destinies were linked to Tengen, the keeper and creator of all the barriers around Japan. They were tasked with protecting the Star Plasma vessel from those who wanted her to become non human. If she didn't merge, the world would be destroyed. This merging occurs every 500 years, with three vessels present within Yuki where she didn't comply. Since the latest one was supposed to be in 2006, we can guess that the other two mergers were in the early 1500s and 1000. This means that during those periods, Six Eyes users were successful in safeguarding Tengen and the vessel for merging. However, there was a significant issue. Kenjaku, the twisted body hopper now possessing the body of Sugiro Ghetto. Every Six Eyes user posed a threat to his plan of creating a new world. Kenjaku aims to optimize curse energy, spreading chaos worldwide so that humans must evolve to survive. According to him, if everyone became a sorcerer and fought each other until death, a select few exceptional individuals would remain. When this happens rapidly on a large scale, it will lead to the evolution of society as a whole, bringing back the golden age that Kenjaku desires. But to achieve this, Kenjaku needs to influence all of Japan and force evolution, something he couldn't do alone. 
This is where Tengen comes into play, by controlling him, Kenjaku could control the barriers of the Jujutsu world and an evolved version of Tengen that could merge with humanity itself. Hence, Kenjaku embarked on a quest to acquire him, however, he kept failing repeatedly because of the Six Eyes users. To put it simply, the only person to ever challenge a Six Eyes user with limitless power was the user of the Ten Shadows technique back in the Edo period. Satoru Gojo revealed that his ancestor, who was similar to him, had a clash with the Zenin clan leader, who possessed the Ten Shadows, in front of the nobles. This conflict escalated to the point where both of them fought to the death. It's no wonder the Zenin clan still harbors resentment towards Gojo today. In essence, Gojo's goal is to shatter the fate that sorcerers are trapped in, the grim demise that hangs over them due to the hostile attitude of the Jujutsu society towards those who are strong but don't fit their mold. However, this didn't deter Kenjaku. The first Six Eyes user he encountered actually defeated him, prompting Kenjaku around the 1500s to ensure that both the Star Plasma Vessel and the next Six Eyes user were killed within a month of their birth. However, on the day of the merger, a new vessel and a Six Eyes user suddenly emerged out of nowhere. Even though only one Six Eyes user could exist at a time, as having two would defy the balance set by God's law, a new Six Eyes user unexpectedly emerged right after the previous one, whom Kenjaku had killed. Aware of Kenjaka's assassinations, the Gojo family kept this birth secret, fearing his infiltration to eliminate their leader. Consequently, Kenjaka's attempts to thwart the Gojo clan and the Six Eyes users repeatedly failed, much like the curse that haunted the Gojo clan ancestor Michijane. According to the Neon Shoki, those who plotted against Michijane faced a series of deaths, for instance, Fujiwara Tokihara banished him from the capital, only for Michijane to die at the age of 30, becoming a vengeful spirit, a concept reflected in the Jujutsu Kaisen it where cursed spirits arise from cursed deaths. In fact, sorcerers have a higher likelihood of turning into curses after death if they're not killed by other sorcerers, as illustrated in Chapter 219. Corrupt officials from Sukuna's era who supported Michijane's removal met similar fates. Despite surviving initial attempts on their lives, they eventually succumbed to mysterious deaths within three months, falling ill or being struck by lightning. This just proves that any opposition against the Six Eyes is destined to fail. Kenjaka's initial failed attempt a thousand years ago led him to devise another plan. During that time, he made binding agreements with ancient sorcerers for the culling games set to take place in 2018. For instance, in the 1600s, Kenjaka convinced Kashimo that despite witnessing the power of other Six Eyes users, Sukuna remained the strongest sorcerer he had encountered. Sukuna also taught Kenjaka how to achieve immortality by splitting his soul into fingers to endure through the ages. This persuaded these crazy individuals to agree to join the game through a binding vow. However, Kenjaka sealing Gojo proved to be his downfall. Despite fate chaining all sorcerers together, things were about to change with the arrival of Toji, who literally shattered these chains, as stated in the manga. Until the day of Riko's merger with Tengen, Gojo continuously used his abilities to protect her, with support from Ghetto. However, the strongest duo of the Jujutsu world failed in their mission due to Toji's master plan, resulting in the deaths of both Riko and Gojo. This broke the cycle of fate, as the Gojo family failed to fulfill their duty for the first time, altering the destinies of everyone involved, including a monkey devoid of any curse energy. This event completely changed the Jujutsu world, setting off a chain reaction of consequences. Firstly, Satoru ascended to godhood by mastering the reverse curse technique. Secondly, it caused Tengen to become more like a cursed spirit, relying solely on her barrier techniques to hold herself together, which created an opening for Kenjaku. He seized this opportunity by possessing Ghetto, who had the spirit manipulation technique, and devised a new plan. The only way for his plan to succeed was to seal the six eyes, since the last two users defeated him and the one he managed to kill simply respawned. The side of sorcerers became so dominant that curse users, who once enjoyed freedom and profited from exploiting the weak, were forced into hiding. As a result, the overall power of cursed spirits increased, trying to restore balance to the world due to Gojo's overwhelming strength, much like when an athlete sets a new record and everyone else has to keep up. However, being the strongest comes with a cost, as Gojo discovered. From a young age, he was constantly targeted for assassination by the powerful Jujutsu clans, 
Since the Heian era, these three major clans have been anything but ethical, driven by individuals hungry for power, willing to employ misogyny and deceitful tactics that have devastated entire generations over the span of 1,000 years. This became evident when Satoru was sealed, chaos broke loose in the Jujutsu world. Clans started forming alliances with higher authorities and even with Kenjaku. Sorcerers began fighting amongst themselves, and the Jujutsu society fell apart, neglecting their main goal of protecting humans. This corruption was exactly what Satoru aimed to prevent because it was deeply ingrained. Simply eliminating the leaders of the Jujutsu society wouldn't solve the problem, they would just be replaced by others corrupt individuals, perpetuating the cycle. Therefore, he decided to use his strength to nurture a new generation of powerful sorcerers who would fight alongside each other, setting aside their prejudices and becoming his allies. Thanks for watching, share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to help our channel grow, and click the notification bell to stay updated on the latest anime news. Until next time!